Hey everyone, in today's video, I'm going to show you how to take Farming Simulator 25 from looking like this to this. We'll go through the settings and tweaks that can really boost the visual quality. As you can see, many of the textures are quite poor and the overall quality is lacking. This can make the game unappealing for many players. The worst part is that such low quality graphics can easily occur if certain settings are altered and once it happens, it's incredibly difficult to restore everything back to the way it was. For example, this combined harvester, which should look perfect, simply doesn't because my settings are all wrong. If you take a look inside, you can't even read anything and no buttons are visible as they should be. But of course, it's not all about the settings. It also depends on your monitor and the components of your PC as that's the main factor. However, this game isn't as demanding as some others. For example, take a look inside the car, it's very poorly rendered, and you can't even see anything in the rearview mirror. There's much more like that, but let's not drag this out any longer. Let's move on to how we can solve this issue. Now, let's go to the settings and find the graphics settings. First and foremost, the resolution. This depends on your monitor whether it's HD to K, or for K resolution. Always use the highest resolution your monitor supports. For example, mine runs on for K. After that, we go to the advanced settings and here we'll dive a bit deeper. Some of the settings will remain the same, but here a lot depends on your components. For example, shader quality if you have a weaker graphics card, set it to medium or even low. If you have a powerful one, leave it on high. The shading rate also depends on your GPU, but the most important setting from render quality is SSAO quality. For graphics cards under 10 gigabytes, use low settings, and for those over 10 gigabytes, you can set it to medium or high. I have a 24 gigabytes AMD graphics card, but I've found that it works better on medium settings. Moving on to texture filtering, if you're on an HD resolution, you can use something below 16x, like 8x. However, for better quality, use 16x. But keep in mind, this will affect your performance. These settings can stay on high or ultra, but for better performance, switch them to medium while keeping the quality on high or ultra. Now, when it comes to field of view, this is something I experimented with and found these numbers to work well for me. You can try them too, but keep in mind that it may not give you the same results. And finally, post-process anti-aliasing. Here, our graphics card plays the biggest role. I use AMD, which means FSR 3 works best for me, especially since it's commonly used for 4K gaming. However, TA isn't bad either, depending on your graphics card strength. If you're using an NVIDIA graphics card, the options might be a bit different, so it's best to consult NVIDIA users for help. That's it. Now, let's see what we've done and check if there's a noticeable difference. And of course, it's quite different now, much clearer and sharper. Every angle is properly visible and the grass now looks as if we're really in nature. Let's check how things look from behind with the machines. Wow, this is not the same combined. Just kidding. Of course, it is, but look how much better it looks now. Inside, everything is now clear, every number and letter stands out, and the image is sharp. This is exactly what we were looking for. And of course, the most important thing is that there's no lag when operating the machines. But like I said, you'll need to experiment a bit with your settings depending on how powerful your components are. Even the interior of this car has changed. The textures and sharpness are excellent, and now we can even see clearly in the mirrors. This is the difference you can really notice. A huge improvement with just a few simple changes in the settings, and they're not complicated at all. Enjoy the best quality and performance. That's all for now. If you have any questions or something isn't clear, feel free to leave a comment below, and I'll try to help. Until then, take care and see you in the next video. Thanks for watching, and if this helped you, don't forget to subscribe.